peelers. We need the peelers. But you know what I keep saying? I need a mandolin. I said, <laughs> I said the same thing two weeks ago. My wife said, what do you want for your birthday? I want a mandolin. Yeah. And the one that I saw in the store had blades and attachments and things, and it was expensive. Right. It was it's almost $100. Big. It was, it was, really big? It was yeah. about this size, a okay. little bit bigger, uh -huh. but it was daunting, and it was one of those shiny object things. I said, ooh, I need one of those. Yeah, and you're thinking, it's realistically, with all those attachments, I'm never going to use it. How would I even clean it? But look, Sharper Image has a mandolin. Sharper Image. It gives you everything Image. that you need. And it's got all the adjustments that you need. If you look at this, right on the side, it's got a knob that's got three different sizes for the thickness, and I'll show you how wafer thin that can be or how perfect. Okay. And then it's also got two attachments for Julienne. Mm. Cleaning could not be any easier. This pops right up. Right. This comes right out, and that just gets hand washed. Easy. And it snaps back in, and off we go. Oh! love it. Non-skid feet. These can fold up so it goes right in your knife drawer. Okay. Or it's beautiful and it says sharper image on it so you know not only is it good but it'll be attractive on your counter so you right. leave that right out. And again stainless steel so you don't have to worry about rust or anything like that but let's show the reason you get a mandolin. Okay. Now, the reason I want it is because especially this time of year I buy big things of sweet potatoes and I like to make mm -hmm. chips. We make those in our house, too. Yeah. And you can just throw them on a plate. All right. Mm -hmm. That's the first one. If you're going to oh, can or make pickles, thick. the nice and thick, mm -hmm. perfect bread and butter pickles. Now this. we go to the next one. And again, watch how fast. Mm. Seconds. Oh, there's nothing Look at like that. fresh vegetables. And fresh vegetables. Yeah. And then there's the second size, if you see the difference right there. Okay. Now here's the ones. These are the wafer thin ones we're going to put out for the hamburgers when the people come over. Okay. We're going to throw that in there. Oh, yeah. And again, we'll go <laughs> look at how wafer thin, put that up against there. Look at compared that. Compared to that one, compared to that one. Look just at... beautiful, and in seconds. Mm, and you know what, when I look at that, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. I'm talking with cucumber <laughs> now, I think of chopped salads. I think of all of those kinds of things, and again, it takes so much time to do all of the cutting and all of the chopping, but you let the mandolin do it for you. Look at how fast look you at can... It. Beautiful. Oh my, we missed it, you have we, to do that I, again. I did it again. Yeah. I'll do it again. Okay, now, here's another thing. Your fingers do not have to come close to this because it's got this beautiful protector right here okay. with a plunger that feeds it down in there. Oh, that's perfect. So in seconds, you've got those perfect slices. Like literally, if you are listening to us but you're not looking at your TV, I really want you to come over and see how fast Tim is going through these vegetables. Okay, now I want you to see this because we're going to be making uh, stuffings. We're going to be making salads for yes. people. We're going to be making all sorts of things throughout the year, tuna salads. And in seconds... Oh my gosh, look at all that. Look at the celery. And this is a task I do not like to do. I, I don't like to chop celery. Yeah. I do now. Yes. I do now that because I have you this. You have the mandolin. All right, now this gets exciting. You want to, I just made a stir fry for the family the other night. Okay. So I broke out the zucchini, mm -hmm. and this is where the julienne comes in. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that your julienne is the right size. That's the small one. Yeah. I did the bigger one. So. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that, how quickly. Yeah. And you get fresh vegetables. If it's easier to cook fresh, you're gonna eat fresher. Now, what else should go in there? Okay. I don't know, maybe a little bok choy. Ah, I love bok choy. So now we've shredded fry? some bok choy. Okay. We, we do some carrots. Well, let's make our small little julienne on here. Okay. Would you put that on there for, uh, there he is, And right. I like that you just turn the knob. Right, like, there's, there's no other all attachments. There's extra little plates and things like that. No. But again, if I wanted to shred some carrot in there. Yeah. We're in. Right. And maybe a little yellow zucchini. We're in. And we're in. And look at that, how quickly we've made a stir fry. And notice how everything is the same size. So that now means it's going to cook evenly. It's going to cook evenly. You yeah. don't want the bigger pieces, the smaller pieces. And then nothing's done the same. Some are undercooked, some are overcooked. Look at how much veg how, how much Tim has been able to just chop and, and use the mandolin, how quickly. Whenever people come to your home and, and they come into the kitchen, you're preparing food, and they say, is there anything I can do to help you? What do you always have them do? Cut up Shut, this. Cut Chop this. the onions. Do this. Now you can just use the mandolin, and it's so easy. And it's sharper image. You get the mandolin, which is this, and you get the food holder so that you're never going to grate your fingernails again or oh. your knuckles again. Now, you and I talked about this as well. My guests have been coming over, and my wife and I have been giving them what we call spa water. Yeah. So we've been giving them these fancy glasses of water. So we've been doing this prep work and cutting up. Oh, lemons good. in perfect sizes as yeah. well and putting them on the side of the glass or put a couple down in the glass yes. and off we go but we're doing it in seconds mm -hmm. so that prep work is just going away all right let's julienne some more eggplants okay. so you can see how beautiful this is 
Look at this. You're going to make a recipe with eggplant. You're going to throw this in your stir fry. Right. Look at that. Or your vegetable or your lasagna. Vegetable. That's there, what I there's think about. your there's your eggplant parmesan right there uh, okay. in seconds. In second, and it's hard. Like if you had to go and try to find the right knife and get on the cutting board and do all of that. Um, think about how much time you would have wasted when Tim was able to just go through it and he's done. By the time you think about it, it's done. And because, again, it's sharper image, you know that it is made ergonomically. The way that it, it's not even straight, it's curved so that it's more comfortable to use. Absolutely. Now, I'm getting a little crazy here because you normally leave the stem on this. Yes. But to make your coleslaws around the holidays, oh, to make yes. your salads, seconds. If I put that on the thinnest measurement right there, right. grab our red cabbage. Okay. Check that out, how quickly oh, it flies that. through that. Look at the cabbage. My my family has a secret red cabbage recipe. Oh. And that is going to melt in your mouth. You throw a little sauce in that. This my family so uses perfect. red wine vinegar. Right. Ooh, and nice. a little bit of brown sugar. Right. Delicious. But that was a task I didn't like to do. Right. And th that's the thing. This is the task that nobody likes to do. That's why there are things like these, like mandolins. And when you go to restaurants and see the pros and the chefs in the behind the, you know, behind the curtain in the kitchen, this is what they're using. Do you really think they're standing there chopping all of those onions and doing all of that by you know, one at a time, they're going through it just like this, now, just as quickly. Here's another just like this. If you see, look how beautiful and simple and easy that is to oh. do those perfectly the same. You're going to make your fajitas or put out a ring? Yeah. Beautiful. Look at how per and it's and it's every time it's perfect. Every time. Look at that. So we are crazy about this. The, the fact is it's, it, it is a holiday price. It's $24.95. I think it's a very small price to pay for so much. This is like extra and extra sous chef in the kitchen for you and if you're shopping for gifts for somebody in your life who likes to cook who likes to maybe cut up and make chips with their potatoes this would be it's a 25 dollars gift that they are going to use and every time they use it they're going to thank their lucky stars that you gave it to them you and i talked about this i've been making the fresh chips around the house for the kids you can just put these on and bake these and they're all the same you don't have to fry anymore if you don't want to but if you just Throw those on a baking dish, wafer thin like that. Look at that. Or look at that. Look at how thin that you is. You can julienne those and make fries. I made matchsticks the other day, the matchstick fries. Yeah. Or you can take a potato what? and just make them the other size. I just run out of potatoes. And the thing is, this is what I like about that is when you get a I was gonna say a hankering, I don't know where that <laughs> word came from. When you get a hankering for <laughs> potato chips and it's 10.30 at night, and you're not going to run out to the store to get a bag of chips, but you have potatoes in, at home. You can cut them up, pop them either in the, we've got a warring fryer coming up in just a little bit, or I even put them in the oven and bake them. And it's perfect every time. The next time I get a hankering, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to switch these out because I'm just hankering for a new one. So I just, right. I just gum that up. Here's okay. another thing I've been doing as well. The, the, the citrus, the hankering is going to throw me the entire time. Now, <laughs> the word of the day. The hankering. word. Of, I got a hankering. <laughs> I just got uh, pepperoni on my hand there, in the midst of my hankering. All right, another great garnish, and another great thing we've been making around the house a lot lately. Ooh, are there, is that an orange? It is an orange, oh, and look how oh. fresh and beautiful those are. Perfectly oh, even every time, and cut in seconds, literally look. seconds. At how fresh, you know what, if you want your kids to eat more fruits fresh, and vegetables, cut them you up. make it fun. And you do it, and you make it fun and easy and quick. Look at look at that juice that's coming out off of that. And this, you drop in, hand me a glass of water over there. Absolutely. Oh, look how there. fancy that looks. And it look. tastes delicious. I'll and if your water way. looks and tastes delicious, look at that. Look at that. You're going to drink more water. You're going to drink more water. And, you know, we Put are. in a lemon, and now you've got an entire citrus thing going on there. Oh, how perfect. And it tastes like stir fry, too, which is how, really good for you. How perfect is this? Now, remember, you're getting the mandolin. I've got orange juice all over myself. But you're getting the mandolin. You're getting the fruit pusher. And, again, sharper image, so you know it is great quality. It is stainless steel. Easy to clean. You just kind of rinse it out, wipe it down, and you're done. $24.95 is the price. Now, this is, uh, so this is it for this morning. I know that you're going to be back maybe later maybe on today. Maybe later this afternoon. Definitely tomorrow morning. Yes. Okay, so we'll see more from Tim. Stay on the line for your mandolin or your peeler.